Hey, 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 it's your girl Evelyn here, and I am back with another video, and you can tell by the title, we're going to talk about self-care today, and I want to talk about self-care in a way that is a little bit different than what I've been seeing going on online. So y'all know I like to go against the grain a little bit. You know I have my own mind. I'm not saying that other people don't have their own mind, but I'm just saying like I always have a different perspective on things, and so like... I'm telling you when I'm on social media, especially like on the weekends, people are like self-care Saturday, self-care Sunday, and my self-care routine. And they're showing their bubble bath and they're showing their candles and I and all of that. And listen, I think all of that is fantastic. But y'all know in my mind, some of that is self-maintenance, not self-care. And so I wanted to come today and talk about why a self-care strategy is much more powerful than a self-care routine. And because you know I care about you, I have my notes here, okay? Because I, I like really thought this out because I was like, why am I so passionate about a self-care strategy versus a self-care routine, okay? And let's start with a little, you know, I like to be a little intellectual from time to time, you know, act like I went to school, act like I'm educated, act like I know what I'm talking about, okay? And so let's start with a little bit of definitions, right? So when you are talking about a routine, so we're talking about self-care. So when you're talking about routine, you're talking about um, a sequence of actions regularly followed. Like I'm just going to do the same thing over and over and over again, right? So that is like the technical definition Um a routine is the usual series of things that you do at a particular time. And that sounds great. It's like, boom, I, I, I do the same things every week. This is my self-care. You know, I, I light a candle. I have a bubble bath. I binge watch my favorite show on Netflix. And that is my self-care routine. And here's the thing. I think for me, and when I think about what people really need when it comes to self-care, and you hear all these articles about, I tried taking a self-care day and I end up having mommy guilt, or I tried taking a self-care day and it didn't work and I'm still equally as stressed. I think it's because it's not getting to the root of what's going on. And it's just like the definition it says, it's just a series of activities that you do over and over again at a particular time. And I personally think a strategy is much more effective when you're trying to get to a desired end. So let's look at the definition, okay? Let's look at the definition for a strategy. In this case, we're talking about a self-care strategy, right? A plan of action designed to achieve a major or overall aim. Do you see the difference? One is designed to get you to an end goal. That's a strategy versus a routine is just something you're doing the same things over and over again at the same time, right? At, you know, like at a designated time. And so here's the thing. Let's get into five reasons why a self-care strategy is much more powerful and effective than a self-care routine, okay? And listen, some of y'all might be like, you know, a tomato, tomato, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, ah, th there's a difference because in order to have an effective strategy, the first thing you have to be is intentional. And so you have to ask yourself, what is the point of my self-care? How? What do I want to feel like? What I want to happen as an end result of these actions that I'm going to take, right? And so if the end result is I just want a deep night's sleep, then what you do on that day to get you into really, really deep sleep is going to be different than when you want to relieve anxiety or you've been stressed about something or you know you're getting ready to go do something, right? And so I, the thing that I love about a self-care strategy is that it's dynamic, right? It's flexible. It, it has multiple moving parts. It's not the same set of things. If I want to bake a cake, a chocolate cake, I'm going to use the same set of ingredients every time, but I may not always want to bake a chocolate cake. I may sometimes want to make, you know, uh, peanut butter cookies. Well, I'm going to need a different set of ingredients. Some of the ingredients may overlap, but it's not the same. And so the same thing is with your self-care. 
we need different things at different times. We need different things on different days of the week. We need different things, different times of the year. We need different things at different seasons of our lives. And so if we get in this habit of, I'm just going to do the same activities over and over and over again, then we're not really getting to a desired aim or goal. And so this is why my first tip is that a self-care strategy is intentional okay so secondly the thing the reason why a self-care strategy is way more important and more effective than a self-care routine is because it makes you get crystal clear on what you want and how you want to feel and how you want to be right or how you want uh, the outcome of that time to be. And so it's kind of like the examples that I was giving, giving, like if I know that I've got a long day ahead of me and I need a really, really deep night's sleep, um, ahead of time, then the things that I'm going to do that night for my night routine may vary from my regular night routine, right? Because I understand the things that work for me and the things that don't that are custom to me, right? Which leads me to my next two points, which is a self-care strategy is custom to you. So you'll see a lot of, you know, blog posts and Instagram posts telling you like, you know, five ways to, you know, incorporate self-care today. And listen, I think those are great. I think they're motivational. I think a lot of the things that I see suggested are great for overall well-being, but I don't know if I would consider them care that these are things that you should be doing in your life anyway to maintain yourself at a certain level and that they're not extra special or, um, y'all know it's self maintenance, not self care. Right. And, and, and I think I have a video about the difference between self maintenance and self care. And so, um, I will link that in the description below, but a self care strategy is custom to you and how you're wired. And so here's the thing. If you do not know how you are wired and how you are built and what you need, then like that's when you need support on uncovering that. So what I need for self-care, the next woman uh, may not need for self-care, right? And and vice versa. And so I think it's a little dangerous to, uh, or I won't say dangerous. That's a bit extreme, Evelyn. I won't say dangerous. I don't think it's great to just say it's a one size fits all, right? And so a self-care strategy is custom. So the fourth way that a self-care strategy is more powerful and more effective than a self-care routine is that it's not only reactive, but it's also proactive. And so a lot of times you'll see that self-care advice is very, uh, about having a self-care routine is very reactive. You had a long day, do this. You had a rough week, do this. You've had a, you've had, you know, you're tired the past couple of months, do that, right? And it's all about an after effect whereas with a self-care strategy is that you know that life is going to happen you you know that unexpected things are going to occur you know that uh you know your workload you know your schedule you know your family obligations and priorities with with your business with your wife a mother a girlfriend, whatever you have, a sister, a caretaker, whatever you've got going on, right? And also in your business, you know, in general, that you are going to have times where you're working a little longer or you're a little bit more committed over here or things are super busy. And so with a self-care strategy, it allows you to not only be reactive, but also be proactive because there's a difference. And you guys, you probably have experienced this in your lifetime. There's a difference between resting from something and resting for something. And it's the same thing when it comes to self-care. It's one thing to recover. It's another thing to kind of fill your tank up beforehand, right? And I think you need both for sure. But I feel like self-care routines, the way they are taught, are largely reactive with very little thought about being proactive. And so one of the things that I uh, share with a lot of the friends in my life and when I kind of got on a really strategic self-care journey is challenging them to really understand how they work and how they function and then being proactive about that. Yes, that means you need to plan. Yes, that means you need to set aside time and resources and money. And you also need to know how do you function, right? 
So, um, and the last thing, and the last thing about the difference between a self-care strategy and a self-care routine is that, is, I think I said this earlier, it's dynamic. It's a different set of actions all the time based on what you need. Some things may be consistent, but depending on what you have going on in your life, depending on where you are mentally, physically, your self-care strategy will change. It will be dynamic. It will be fluid. It's a system, not a step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. So I hope that this video has been beneficial. I hope that it has challenged you. I now have an Instagram account specifically for this channel. You can follow me on Instagram at the Evelyn Inc. And uh, I will see you over there. It will be extra juicy content over there too. And uh, make sure you share this video with another uh, woman creative who you know needs strategic self-care because a self-care routine is just not getting it these days. And uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Share this video out. Let me know in the comments, do you even have a self-care routine? Have you ever thought about having a self-care strategy? Or are you proactive or reactive when it comes to your self-care? And I will see you in the next video. Peace.